one of the narratives that has to be chiseled away out of suburban Christianity is the idea that what's uppermost in God's heart for you is safety. Here's what Jesus guarantees you. You ready? Security. What's the difference between safety and security? Regardless of what befalls your life, you are secure in Christ. Your eternity is secure. God's care for you is secure. You will never be outside of his security. And yet the history of the people of God as we run into places that are dangerous because it is there that our people are hurt and wounded and in desperate need of the love of Jesus. We are not to be driven by fear. Perfect love cast out fear. See, when you make the plan of God for your life to be non-heroic, you know what I'm saying? By non-heroic, that what God has for you is the memorization of some texts and to be morally well-behaved and and then to just um, sit on your couch and read Christian books and try not to do bad things. What a pathetic version of the Christian life. What's it mean to be a Christian? To not be bad. No, thank you. First of all, it's not biblical. Secondly, that's terribly boring. It's not what God has called you to. Be safe. That's not his call. His call, I'm with you, let's go. Like there's something in us that yearns for the heroic. And I'm not, and I'm not talking about you being William Wallace. You tracking? Right? That's not one of we just we, We've been created and made by God to be in the muck and the mire. To be in it, it's in that place we realize we're not God and that he is. We learn that we're powerless and he is powerful and that's more comforting to the soul than it sounds. It's not comforting to your ego, but it's comforting to the soul. 